Hello dear student, once again you are welcome in online classes of English subject. So today we are going to discuss A Triumph of Surgery by James Harriet. This chapter is included in your, in your second book, Footprints Without Feet. So before starting this, let's have a look at writer, author. So this is the portrait of James Harry. Actually, his real name was James Alfred Wick, who was born on 3rd of October 1916 and he was passed away 23 Feb 1995 and popular by his pen name James Harriet who was a British veterinary surgeon and writer. He was surgeon as well as writer who always used his many years of experiences as a veterinary surgeon to write a series of books each consisting of stories about animals and their owners. So he was animal loving writer, surgeon who always included animals stories into his works, into his writings. So he is best known for these semi autobiographical works beginning with if only they could talk. So you can find out always semi autobiographical elements in his every writing. So one of them is if only they could talk was published in 1970 which was spawned a series of movies and television series. So this is a very popular work of James Harriet the writer. So let's have a look at main characters of this story. So there are three main characters. First Mr. Harriet writer himself who was a veterinary surgeon in this story. Veterinary means jo janoro se sambandhit hota hai. And second crucial character is Mrs. Pomfrey who was a rich lady and she was also fond of keeping animals. Animals loving lady she was. And number third, Tricky. Tricky is a pet dog who was suffering from disease, who was suffering from fatness and letharginess. So, what is about this story? Tricky, as I told you, this is a pet dog of Mrs. Pomfrey is pampered and overfeeded by his rich mistress. So, Tricky is a chota sa dog hai, jise uski mistress, Mrs. Pomfrey, itna prem karti hai, ki usse hamesa kuch na kuch khilati rati hai, aur unka ya prem hi hai, jo usse is musibat mein lakar khada kar deta hai. He falls ill and his mistress consults a veterinary surgeon. And finally, once upon a time, this tricky was ill and that's why Mrs. Pomfrey became worried about it and she finally consulted a doctor, veterinary doctor, veterinary surgeon, Mr. Harriet. Does he perform operation? Does the dog recover? So, in this story, we will find whether the doctor perform any surgery, operation over tricky or the, do uh, or the dog recover automatically. So, what is the reason behind? Let us be see in this story. So, this is the outline of story given in a very short so let us start a story, summary of the story. 
Mrs. Pomfrey, as I told you, is a rich lady who had a pet dog named Tiki. So she had kept a small dog and she has also given a loving name to this dog and it is Tricky. She loved her dog very much and was unable to refuse him anything he wanted. And she was so caring about this small Tricky that she never refused anything he wanted to eat. Tricky was fond of eating creams, cakes and chocolates. And this Tricky dog was also very fond of eating creams, cakes, etc. As I told you that Mrs. Pomfrey, जैसा कि आपको बताया गया कि एक बहुत ही धनाड़ दे औरत होती है जो जानवरों की सोकीन होती है जो एक कुत्ता पालती है और उस कुत्ते को बहुत ही प्यार से ट्रिक कर पुकारती है और वह इतनी केयरिंग होती है उस कुत्ते के प्रति इतनी वफादार होती है कि जो कुछ भी वह मांगता है खाने के लिए उसे मना नहीं कर पाती है आप समझ सकते हैं कि उस कुत्ते को वह क्रीम केक्स चॉकलेट्स एक बच्चे की तरह खिला दी थी सो फर्दर वन डे वेन मिसिस पॉम्फ्री वॉज आउट विथ चिकी फॉर अ वॉक The narrator saw them and stopped to talk. So once upon a time, she was on her morning walk with a tricky. You can find out so many people as Mrs. Pumphrey while walking in park, while walking on roads. You can find out so many people around yourself. So Mrs. Pumphrey. was once again uh, once upon a time on morning walk with her dog tiki then suddenly she felt that his dog is not in well condition because tiki was getting some problem while walking then she stopped and finally she saw that this little dog was suffering from some disease so she decided to consult a doctor he was shocked to see tricky because he looked like a bloated sausages and finally as soon as she came with her dog tricky to a veterinary surgeon mr harriet harriet narrates that as soon as i saw the tricky i was shocked i was completely shocked by looking the fatness of this small dog who was suffering from letharginess and this dog was looking as though as a bloated sauce ab yahan pe bata raha hai ki wo aisa dikhai de raha tha jaise bloated sauce hota hai jaise ki pav roti hoti hai use pani mein aap bhigo dijiye to phool jati hai to aisa itna moto ho chuka tha ki is prakar se dikhai de raha tha he had become very fat his eyes were red and watery so due to over fitness this small tricky was looking very fat on the other hand his eyes were looking very dull red and watery pomfrey explained that she believed the pet was suffering from malnutrition men as he did not have any energy and excitement by pointing out towards the tricky mrs pomfrey narrated to the doctor mr harriet now doctor please look at this my little baby i think he is suffering from malnutrition कुपोषण का शिकार हो चुका है वो बता दिए डॉक्टर को डॉक्टर इसे आप देखिए यह बीमार चल रहा है मुझे लग रहा है कि यह कुपोषण का शिकार हो रहा है यहाँ पे कंट्राडिक्ट्री वर्ड्स यूज किए गए हैं कोई इतना मोटा हो सकता है कि वह कुपोषण का शिकार कैसे हो सकता है अगर कोई इंसान मोटा है तो कुपोषण का शिकार नहीं हो सकता है लेकिन वहाँ पर वो बोल रहे हैं माई दिस लिटिल बेबी टिकी इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम माल न्यूट्रिशन मैन बिकॉज 
because of that he is running ill for a very long time he did not have any energy and excitement and due to malnutrition he is lacking energy and excitement there is no any energy and excitement she told him that she used to give him malt cod liver oil and bowl of horlicks and further she explained also that that i always used to give him malt cod liver oil and bowl of horlicks at a night apart from his regular meals कहती हैं कि रेगुलर मील्स के अलावा मैं उन्हें उसे जो एक्स्ट्रा जो है माल्ट देती हूँ कॉर्ड लीवर देती हूँ और हॉर्लिक्स भी उसे खिलाती हूँ फिर भी वह कुपोषण का शिकार हो चुका है या कैसे मुझे पता नहीं ही कूड स्लीप एट नाइट आई ऑलवेज गिव हिम एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ माल्ट कॉर्ड लीवर ऑयल एंड बाउल ऑफ हॉर्लिक्स सो दैट माई दिस टिकी कुड स्लीप एट नाइट पीसफुली हैरियट रियलाइज दैट सी हैड बीन ओवर फीडिंग टिकी एज सोन एज सी नरेटेड द स्टोरी अबाउट द टिकी टू डॉक्टर मिस्टर हैरियट देन राइटर रियलाइज दैट एक्चुअली दिस टिकी इज नॉट सफरिंग फ्रॉम एनी डिजीज not suffering from malnutrition men but tricky is prey of overfeeding this over consciousness of this lady mrs pomfrey has given this little tricky sickness who is responsible for the sickness of this tricky mrs pomfrey herself he realized he calculated he warned mrs pomfrey that tricky would soon fall ill if she did not keep him on a strict diet and he also suggested mrs pomfrey please keep this small tricky dog on a diet otherwise his condition will be more and more critical day after day and he also suggested to increase his exercise और उसने डॉक्टर ने सजेस्ट कर कर दिया उस लेडी को कि इसे अब जो है डाइट पे रखिए इसका खाना पीना कम कर दीजिए अदरवाइज ये और बीमार पड़ जाएगा और साथ ही साथ उसे एक्सरसाइज भी कराइए सुबह क्योंकि इसके सेहत के लिए एक्सरसाइज ज़रूरी है उसने सजेस्ट किया एज एक्सपेक्टेड बाई मिस्टर हैरियट so tricky got unwell and mrs pomfrey had to call mr harry and finally the condition of tricky became very critical because mrs pomfrey could not curtail the food material of tricky she thought that how can i curtail how can i cut food materials extra energy of tricky because tricky was considered to be the son of mrs pomfrey she considered that this is not only a dog for me but this tricky is my son so how could she curtail the food materials of tricky she told him that she was very upset as tricky was not eating anything and was vomiting frequently and finally she phoned dr harriet and narrated that my tricky small baby is suffering from some disease that's why he is not eating anything and was also suffering of suffering from vomiting frequently being a veteran in his field he knew that the only way to get tricky well was to get him out of the house for a few days he then suggested to mrs pomfrey that it would be good to get tricky hospitalized and keep him under observation for fortnight and finally being a doctor veteran doctor he estimated what is the problem of this tricky he suggested mrs pomfrey to 
hospitalized this is small tricky dog otherwise his condition will be more and more critical so he suggested her to hospitalize this small tricky dog for a fortnight fortnight means 15 dino ke liye usne suggest kiya ki ise 15 din ke liye aap mere paas hospital mein admit kara dijiye aur uske baad ye sahi ho jayega so let us we see what happens in a story mrs pomfrey nearly fainted and told tricky would die if tricky did not see her every day so what was the response from the mrs pomfrey as soon as she heard that doctor is asking for admission of this small tricky she expressed that this is impossible for me she was fainted at that time fainted means hota hai behoshi ki halat mein ho jana murchit ho jana to use murcha si aa gayi and she told that how is possible for me how can i take myself away from tricky even for a day this is impossible for me i love him so much that's why i could not keep myself away from this लिटिल बेबी चिक्की इवेन फॉर अ डे जैसे उसने पंद्रह दिन का सुझाव दिया कि इसे हॉस्पिटल में हॉस्पिटलाइज करना पड़ेगा तो उसने कहा यह संभव कैसे हो सकता है एक दिन के लिए भी मैं उससे अलग नहीं हो सकती मैं उसे उतना प्रेम करती हूँ बट हैर ये टोल्ड हो दैर दिस वॉज द ओनली ऑप्शन एज टिक्की वॉज वेरी बट डॉक्टर टोल्ड हो दैर देर इज ओनली वन वन ऑप्शन to keep tricky away from illness there is not any other treatment you have to hospitalize this tricky into my veterinary hospital otherwise his condition will be more and more critical he brought the dog to his surgery and kept along with a pack other dogs and finally he convinced the lady and took the dog into his hospital and kept this little lethargy idle dog with packs of dogs aur apne hospital ke jo anya kutte the unke sath is chote se kutte ko rakh diya jo ki bahut hi alsi tha aur bahut hi mota tha for the first two days he did not give him any food from the first day he started the treatment of this trick uh, tricky because he knows very well that what is the problem of this tricky what is the cause behind his sickness he knows very well that this dog is suffering from idleness letharginess and fatness that's why from the first day he began to curtail the food materials since two days he did not give any food for this dog tricky but plenty of water water was supplied to this little dog tricky pehle din se usne treatment start kar diya do dino tak use bhojan nahi deta kyun use pata hota hai ki iski bimari ka karan sirf aur sirf motapa hai aur भोजन है इसीलिए उसे दो दिनों तक उसका खाना बंद कर देता है सिर्फ पानी देता है ऑन द थर्ड डे ट्रिकी हु वॉज सो लिस्टलेस अबाउट अ न्यू एनवायरमेंट बिगिन टू विम्पर वेन ही हर्ड द अदर डॉग्स एट द यार्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्रिकी वॉज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम एवरी वन ही वॉज टुक अलोन but after some time on the third day this little dog became something listless restless because the environment was something new for him he was not habitual to but after third day third day this small tricky began to whimper when he heard the other dogs at the yard he trotted out and he started playing with other dogs after third days this small tricky 
became something habitual to that environment while looking other dogs around him he became something consciousness and began to play with other dogs his condition started steadily improving day by day and after some time his condition became something normal he began to overcome the difficulty of sickness of letharginess and of fatness aur dheere dheere uski condition samanya hone lagi woh alaspan aur motape se bahar nikalne laga aur uski condition achhi hone lagi वह अन्य कुत्तों के साथ खेलना प्रारंभ कर दिया ही हैड नाउ स्टार्टेड फाइटिंग फॉर हिज फूड विद अदर डॉग्स वेन दिस डॉग वॉज ब्रिंग बैक इन टू दिस हॉस्पिटल ही वॉज आइडल टोटली आइडल टोटली लिथार्जिक इवन ही कुड नॉट मूव हिज बॉडी हिज टेल्स हिज फीट He was so lethargic, uh, suffering from lethargic due to the overconsciousness of his Mrs. Pomfrey, who was responsible. Mrs. Pomfrey was responsible for his uh, fatness and lethargic. But after third days, this dog became something energetic. Now finally, he began to fight. for his food with other dogs because there was competition between the dogs first of all jaisa ki maine bataya ki unke beech competition hota hai kutton ke beech do teen dino tak use bhojan nahi diya gaya jo bhi bhojan diya jata tha wo bilkul apne paon ko apne poonch ko hila nahi pata tha isliye wo jata nahi tha khane ke liye तो वो सारे जो कुत्ते होते थे सारा उसका भोजन खा जाते थे लेकिन तीसरे दिन के बाद वह जो है अपने भोजन के लिए जो है उनसे लड़ने लगा और अपना भोजन छीनकर खाने लगा द डॉग हैड बिन इन द न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑफ जो है इन इट्स फ्रेंडली फाइट्स एंड प्लेइंग विद अदर डॉग सो दिस न्यू वर्ल्ड वॉज समथिंग डिफरेंट वेयर देर वॉज कंपटिशंस अमॉन्ग द डॉग्स and he was very happy by playing with other dogs so this condition of the hospital the environment was something new for little dog where there was competition for foods and he also loved to play with other dogs so he became something energetic he came out of this letharginess and fatness in order to facilitate facilitate the speedy uh, speedy recovery and improve her pet system she started sending fresh dog eggs as soon as she got that my dog is recovering from the illness then she started one new thing once again she began to send some fresh egg for the strength of the dogs और जैसे उसे पता लगा कि वह सही हो रहा है अगले दिन से उसने ताज़े अंडे भेजना शुरू कर दिया ताकि वह जल्दी सही हो जाए टू एनरिस इज ब्लर सी सेंट वाइन और उसके खून को बढ़ाने के लिए वह शराब भी भेजने लगी आप समझ सकते हैं कैसी लेडी थी एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम सी यूज टू सेंड सम वाइन एंड ब्रांडी फॉर एनरिच द ब्लड ऑफ टिकी सी वॉज सो केयरिंग एक्चुअली केयरिंग नहीं थी इसकी लापरवाही थी कि उस कुत्ते को जल्दी घर लाने के लिए वह उसे पुनः जो है वाइन भेजने लगी ब्रांडी भेजने लगी और ताज़े अंडे भेजने लगी ताकि वह जल्दी सही हो जाए हैरियट एंड हिज पार्टनर्स एट द सर्जरी वर वेरी मच सरप्राइज एट द लेविश सप्लाई सो द डॉक्टर वॉज वेरी सरप्राइज बाई लुकिंग द लेविश सप्लाई by mrs ha mrs harriet by looking the wine brandy and eggs and he was unable to believe how it is possible for such a lady to sell brandy and wine for a dog but both the partners means doctor and his partners enjoyed themselves with all these supplements during their meals aur doctor uska jo mitra tha 
ये जो उसके लिए भोजन आते थे ब्रांडी वाइन एग्स उसका आनंद उठाने लगे वो कुत्ते को नहीं देते थे बल्कि वो खुद खा जाते थे After a fortnight, Harriet informed Mrs. Pomfrey that Tricky was all right and was awaiting collection. And finally, after 15 days, he informed Mrs. Pomfrey, "Now, dear lady, you can take away your dogs because he is recovering from the illness very speedily. He is now ready to come in your home." To her surprise, Mrs. Pomfrey found Tricky had been transformed into a hard muscle and active animal. Now the Tricky was quite built. He has transformed into a very energetic, active, and muscled animals. Before that, he was suffering from malnutrition, meant fatness, but here. He is trans transformed into a energetic and muscled animal. On seeing his mistress, Tiki shamed over her. As soon as she came nearby the hospital, Tiki looked at her. As soon as Tiki looked at her, she shamed over her suddenly. जैसे ही वो अपने मालकिन को देखता है, वो छलांग लगाकर उसके ऊपर चला जाता है मिसेस पॉम्फ्री वॉज ओवरवेल्म ओवरवेल्म मीन्स होता है भाव विभोर हो जाना तो उस समय वह ओवरवेल्म हो जाती उसे देखकर क्योंकि पंद्रह दिनों की दूरी हो गई थी पंद्रह दिनों तक वो मिल नहीं पाई थी टू बी वेरी एक्टिव एंड सी वॉज ऑल्सो सरप्राइज बाई लुकिंग हर डॉग हु वॉज सफरिंग फ्रॉम लिथार्जीनेस फैटनेस हु वॉज लुकिंग समथिंग वेरी स्लिम and very active she was surprised surprised how is it possible she expressed her gratitude to mr harriet and finally she became emotional and she also expressed her gratitude to mr harriet calling her pet's recovery was a triumph of surgery and finally she thanked dr harriet for his treatment and for his surgery and she thought that this is the magic of surgery and finally she exclaimed with joy this is a triumph of surgery aur usne anandit hokar wo samajhti hai ki ye surgery ki gayi hai aur us doctor ko dhanyawad karti hai writer ko mr harriet ko ki ye surgery ki jeet hai sal sal chikitsa ki jeet hai and this is the summary of the story i hope you have got all the meanings and explanation as well so dear student once again i would like to say thank you for watching this video thank you very much